let's go ahead and break down this hydro flow. You'll see there's gonna be a lot of shockers involved because they're always spitting out good vibes with that water. So we're gonna start with the rope on our deck, find a nice wide base, and just settle in, find your breath. Tune in to your senses and what you're currently experiencing and allow it to just flow within you. We're gonna make a shock of diamond connecting our pinkies, our thumbs. We are here now. As we take this rope out over the top of us, we continue to settle in our feet. Here are shakas to the back here. Pinkies together, thumbs together, up to the brow. An honor to practice this hydro flow. And to just connect with the water element. We find a horizontal rope. We're gonna wrap our shakas around the front, creating a shaka fist. And a heart with the rope, looping it together. Fists together, thumbs together, pinkies crossed. Feel the power within you. Take a few more breaths. Soften. We find our horizon again. We reach out in front of us and exhale. Inhale as we come back in. And feel free to take as many horizontal reaches with your inhales in, exhales out as you need. And when you feel ready, center yourself. We will push down into the earth as we exhale, pulling that rope apart. Inhale, coming back home. Rising above with our hands, exhale. Hold that rope apart. As many vertical passes as you need. Inhale through your heart. Exhale as you go away. Inhale towards. Exhale away. And just connect with the ups, the downs, the earths, the heavens. Finding center. Again, we're going to an orbit now. We'll push down, then stay down. Reach away and let the arms pull you up, standing tall into extension. Lay back, pull the rope down across the face. Get a few of these. Exhaling as you push away. <sighs> Inhaling as you cross that horizon. Pulling into center once more. Exhale, <sighs> come down. <sighs> Inhale. Coming up and in. Now we're going to take it a bit lateral. We're going to do a bit of a loop-de-loop. -loop. We're going to drop the rope down, drawing a circle all the way counterclockwise up. Over the top, we'll scoop through the base, stepping to the side, pivoting that back foot, and into an extension to complete that extension through the rope. Circling back through, inhale. Switching directions now, left foot as we go clockwise, and extend, pivot the back foot. Inhale, coming back through. Let's get a few of these, just practicing that loop and opening up, pivoting that back foot. And as you feel more confident getting deeper, maybe even allowing your gaze to go upward, <sighs> challenging that stability, coming through, switching, inhaling through and exhaling out as we extend up, 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 getting deeper into that full body's expression. Let's do once more, inhale. Create the circle, exhale, exit outward. Sink low, hold here. Take a few breaths, admire your ability to sustain this position and flow back into the other side. Inhale and exhale, step, pivot that back foot. Again, give yourself a few breaths up at the top. Calibrating, communicating, calming and back through, we'll pause here in the middle. Now, this next piece comes from the coil ropes. We're gonna go into a shoulder drag. So with your right hand, you're basically going to rev over the top, scooping the hand down and driving the elbow up and behind the rope. And then we're gonna use that elbow to back the rope around, pulling the hand down inside the thigh. That's supposed to be a right side shoulder drag. We're gonna step the right foot 
into a deep lunge, pulling down and opening up into a bit of rotation, giving ourselves that counter tension through the hands. Now when we come back, we push, and then our goal here is to flip to the other side. We'll go slow for this one, but I'll show you what it looks like. You kind of flip it, roll it, and catch it into the other side shoulder drag. So to exit that right side shoulder drag, you'll just drive your elbow back through, unwrap the arm. Left hand's gonna rev over the top, drive the elbow in behind the rope, and then over the rope, open the hand and push the rope down, we'll step that left foot. This is the fun part of that flow, just sloshing back and forth, finding that equilibrium. We'll pop back home, unwind. Now we're gonna go lateral with that step. So practice that transition slow, drive the elbow through, wrap around. This hand should end up on the other side hip. We go side lunge, whoop, and we settle in to that space. Pulling down, driving our hips to the side. We'll come back, unwrap, and switch. Practicing that left side, lunge, drop in. And I'll go through a few more reps of these two. We're gonna go into rotation. So back to the horizon. Keep the hands kind of loose, but pinch the rope. Drive that right elbow behind and up. Wrap it around and open now to the right, back and behind that rotational lunge from our spherical movement series. Pop back, switch it. Left elbow drives up and around, open to the left. Sink in, settle in, even point the toe for a little extra love there and pop back. So that shoulder drag transition, starting to work one side to the other. And that's when you can add in that front step, that side step, wrapping it through. Boom, and then into that rotational step. A little teacup action as we wrap in around to those. So fun little way to get this thing rolling around you. Now as you complete that, your wide base, we're basically going to drop this, step in your right hand, you're gonna drop the rope and catch into that left and you're gonna feel that weight of the rope slosh down to the base. And that's gonna carry us through our opposite side hand sneaking through. So if left hand catches, the right hand sneaks behind. Now we're gonna go through a few sequences of this one. I like to do it for about three or four, um, but your goal is to try to find your fluid transition uh, so it doesn't feel like it's sloshing too much, but you just fall into the next wave of that throw. So as we come back into, we just completed the shoulder wraps, both sides. We drop, catch, sneak the right hand, the left hand into a little bit of sneaky kung fu. Go into overhand, there's one time through. We go back to our underhands, into our overhand sneak side. There's two, hit one more time. And I love the water here just splashing through in that sneak, it makes it extremely fun. As we come back through, now we go into our tandem sneaks. I was gonna call it the sneaky dragon for a few reps. And then as we come through, a we'll pendulum switch. Now the other side goes. So as we go back to our left side for underhand sneak, the left hand comes behind. Boom, there's our unders to over. So there's one cycle. There's under two. There's over for the second cycle and underhand sneak to overhand sneak. Come back through into those tandem sneaks or the sneaky dragon. Slash it through, splash, splash, splash. As we come through, we end with it behind. Let the water settle, adapt, soften. We'll step through in reverse. Pull the elbows forward, wrap outside, making that water element downward triangle. And we settle in, finding your shock of fists. Recognize your power. And then there's a fun transition too. We wanna to get into some underhand sneaks alternating, and then into some two-point sneaks, and then into some three-point sneaks, and then settling back into to complete this hydro flow. So from here, what I like to do, you can step through, I like to jump through it, is just pop through and get right into your underhand sneak alternating. So I'll pop it behind, boom, and then into underhand sneaks. Hit a couple of each. There's two, and three through. Maybe let's hit a fourth. And then we can go right into two point sneaks. Pick a side, two points. Hit a handful. Hit the other side for some two point sneaks. Splash that water forward. Ah, feels nice. And then hit it into some three point sneaks. So underhand sneak, boom, we come back into that side. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's go ahead and just switch it over to the other side. Sneak, and then into a three point. Boom, boom. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hit one more time of those. And we'll end with it behind us. And then I like to flip this one back over the top, complete the cycle through. 
pull the elbows forward once more. Shaka fists, pinkies cross, elbows out, thumbs are touching, fists together, sink in, honor the water. And from here, feel free to end up right back where you started, placing the rope back into the right hand, and then you can toss it, pop it, however you want to transition to it, smooth way to do it. Come through, unwrap, pull it apart, and complete your cycle back around your neck and bring in those Shaka diamonds together. Hope you enjoyed this series. Have fun exploring it, and I'm looking forward to your own versions of these explorations of hydroflow. Cheers.